but we've taken it back to 2012. Hello, it's Vlogmas. It's not my fault. I, it's kind of your fault. It's your fault because you all were kind of supposed to remind me of Vlogmas, but you didn't. So now we're doing Vlogmas late and I could just quit till 2015, but nope. I'm gonna just continue Vlogmas like we do every year when we fuck up. We say we're going to just continue through. I really don't want every year to not be able to do this because I have failed every year. 2014 is the year we semi get this right. Um, my tree is half up. How I am even doing this vlog, I don't know because I just got told that I actually have to go to San Francisco for a work trip. I don't think I'll be there very long. I'm not sure. Um, it's that kind of trip. So it doesn't matter. I mean, I can vlog anywhere. Have camera will travel. So part of vlog this will be us going to San Francisco. Uh, what did I want to talk about today? Just really quickly so get this one up, and then I'll do another one too before I leave. I want to talk about that there's this whole thing going on with Zoella, and believe it or not, I had no idea who she was. Um, uh, as a parent from my makeup, I really don't watch a lot of beauty gurus, obviously. Uh, but she has this thing going on where I guess it came out that she had a ghostwriter who wrote her book, and her book was smashing sales records. It outsold Harry Potter, which is a crazy town. So people were really picking up her books. And I, this is how I feel about it. I feel as though, I don't know, I feel like if you bought her book and you felt like she wrote it and you felt cheated, I feel like you should be able to return the book or whatever for like a refund because I feel like you were misled. But I feel like most people just buy stuff because they like her, um, they like who she is, they like uh, her videos, they just like her and there's nothing wrong with that. So. You know, the Kardashians are popular. No, there's something wrong with that. But I guess the moral of the story is people like what they like and there's no accounting for taste. She's not for me. I don't think she's a horrible person. I didn't know who she was. I'm not into beauty, obviously. <laughs> We've already said that. But there's an audience there. People like her, people like beauty, people like gaming videos. There's a, you know, a niche there, it's a strong niche. And whether or not you love or hate it, it's popular. Uh, so that's my thing about her. I don't think most people, I think most people just bought it because they like her. I don't think most people thought that it was written by her, did you? Uh, most of the time when someone comes out with a book um, and they're like a public figure, it's, it's ghost written. Someone else wrote it. Uh, basically the public figure outlines it with the ghost writer and the ghost writer writes all the chapters. So basically what her uh, publishing house basically did was said, uh, hey, we'd love to do a book with you. Um, any ideas on what you'd want the book would be on? And she probably said, oh, I'd love it to be about a girl who, you know, started making videos on YouTube and then she found a boyfriend and all this stuff. Or they outlined it for her and said, we'd like to do a book based on your life. And that was it, and then somebody else wrote it. I have met ghostwriters before, people who actually do it for a living. I find it a, a very weird thing. On the one hand, you're doing something you love and you're getting paid, and people make great money from it. Uh, and there's a lot of confidentiality contracts that go around it. So I think this whole thing about it coming out that she had a ghostwriter is a kink in the chain. But I also have a friend who lives in New York City here, and she was working with Alicia Keys, and she didn't get a byline for something she was writing uh, for Alicia Keys and she said, no, I can't do it. I don't want to be part of this project. Uh, or something to that effect. I don't want to say her name because I don't want to script the story. But it was something along those lines and that's kind of how I feel because I take my writing really seriously. I have a couple of books I finished that I want to put up on my website just so that maybe you guys could read it. It's uh, like I'm editing it now, editing them now. But I wouldn't want my words to belong to somebody else and it just be okay. Um, that would piss me off, I think. 
But if you're making money from it and you're doing what you love and as a ghostwriter you're okay with it, then I, I guess I'm okay if, if you're okay because, yeah, I mean, no one's swindling you. Uh, for example, uh, these books came out when I was really little. Um, Sweet Valley High, and I had learned that like these, the sagas, which were my favorites, these were not written by Francine Pasquale, these were ghost written. And that kind of pissed me off because I, for a long time, Francine Pasquale was my favorite writer because I love the way those books are written. Now it comes out, I have no idea who wrote those books, but girl, whoever you are or him, you're one of my favorites. So that kind of pisses me off, but um, it is what it is. They got paid, and I'm sure they got paid well because those are really popular books. They probably did really well. And that's it. I think Charlize Theron, what was it? She was in um, a movie, Adulthood, where she was playing like a, a, a kind of like a, a, a Sex and the City type character who doesn't want to grow up, but she was playing like a ghostwriter. So yeah, I think I think the whole thing with Zoella is if you were genuinely misled, I feel bad for you. But I think most people all just bought it because they like her and I don't think they really care. I think they just like her personality so they buy whatever she wants, whatever she sells. Um, like I said, I didn't know who she was. So let me know, let me know if you think that it was like, let me know if you think it was misleading. Let me know if you just genuinely like her. Let me know if you bought the book, what you thought of it. I haven't read it, I haven't bought it. I might like download a sample to read, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not into YA. I don't think it's for me, so yeah, you know. All right, you guys, that's it for me, Vlogmas Day 8. I'm gonna do a couple more and throw them up. I'll see you guys later, bye.